In the days when, when I did this painting, you could get film developed overnight, and it was like a new thing, Coda, Coda Quick or whatever it was called. I went to this place, but I had used Fuji film, and I went into the store, and they, and they, they oh, I'm sorry, we can't develop this. I said, what are you talking about? No, oh, no, I said, was it because it's Fuji film? I can get outraged by fairly small things. At the time, I didn't think it was that small. But anyway, the, at some point when I decided to do a painting of Kodak, then as I put this painting together, and I said, oh, Kodak film, and Kodak uh, cameras, and Kodak paper, and Kodak, I realized that these people were, had been bought out. They, their souls had been sold to Kodak, no matter what. So the painting, as it developed, it was like first, it was kind of mild, and then, and then I, I, I said, well, I'm going to put a yellow jacket on this, on the man, and I'll put a red uh, skirt on the woman, and then I, <clears throat> then I added a red and yellow tie on him, and then red pants on him, and then I put these big yellow glasses on, you know, and it got more and more, you know, like they weren't uh, people anymore. They were, they were just symbols for, for Kodak, and then it got more and more, and then I, I decided, oh, no, they must, they, maybe they have a dog, but if they had a dog, it's probably too, that would be as close to being humane as I could get. So I stuck the dog underneath the Kodak, Kodak quick sign. And there's this little pug, if you can see him, you can hardly see him in the shadow. And so these things develop out of sometimes rage, sometimes, and you're not always, you know, thinking precisely, but, uh, you know, how it, how it came about, but then it's kind of fun later to see, uh, you know, you can follow your own, um, your own um, craziness and see how it, um, how it ended up the way it was, you know.